Hello, today I have a jean, black color, and the bell loop is broken. In this case, I cannot fix it, so I want to renew um, a new one. Yeah. First, I try to find out the fabric is very, very similar with this one, and then I c the length, I have to follow the original one. And here I make a little bit extra for in case. And the size, I want to to make it the same size with the old one. So a little bit bigger. Yeah. So I mark it to make uh, to know how big up this one. Okay, this is at the middle, and this is the middle, so it's about this much, about this much, yeah. And I mark this because I will take this one off, so I know where is it. You can just cut it, and then you just sew it on, but I, I, I have to do exactly the same, the original, so... Uh, but I can show you the the shortcut way. Okay, I know where. What is uh, what is size now? So yeah, it's about this much. Not a little bit smaller. Okay, I show you the shortcut way first. The shortcut way. It's the easy. You can just fold this and then you do the same with the old one here. I get another one as a sample. So I mark here. Yeah. This is where it's the where is it? You just can turn this and then just sew back wood for wood and then you on the top you do the same. Turn, turn and do pass back wood for wood and then you can cut, trim and cut it. Um, but I don't do that way because um, to make my business uh, good uh, is good. I have to do like the, uh, I have to follow the original to make it look nice. So now I take this one off. Now I take it off now. Okay, I show you the original. The original is attached, uh, attached to the waist, and then sit in here and sit in here. It's visible on the top, but invisible at the bottom. So I do the same. I find which one is the right side. This side look nice, so I choose that size. Put this one back on. Put a little bit deep to make sure it's strong enough. Because with pin, I need to do some things. Uh, I so I uh, I make sure it's stronger. Everything I do is stronger than normal. And 
I go backward forward here a few times to make sure it's nice. Yeah. And strong. Okay, and then I follow the mark. And I want to make it strong so I go backward forward. And when I turn up also I stitch in on the top Okay, yeah Okay And this one If you want to look nice, you can sew this one first Sew one more, one time first and then put this one up but uh, this this way a little bit thick so i follow the original the original they do very simple on the top the tongue like this um from my experience when i do the bell look i don't make it flat like this because I want to have the a little bit room for the bell to come in. Otherwise, in the future, you you will uh, damage the fabric here, and you have the hole from here. So I do a little bit longer than than normal to make it a little bit floppy, a little bit. Yeah. It's straight. Yeah, I do backward forward to make it stronger. Yeah. Okay, now I have a new bell up now, and this one you can cut it. Uh, please like and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get my new video. Thank you very much for your watching. I do one more thing here. Yeah. Okay, thank you for your supporting. See you in next video. Bye-bye.